you for tuning in to News Now, Belmont Journal's daily news program. I'm your host, Joanna Jubilis. Joining us today are members of the Belmont High Climate Action Club, Ellie Lesser, Jacob Lubetsky, and Evie Hamer. Welcome, everyone. Ellie, can you tell our viewers what your club is, what is its purpose and its mission? The Belmont High Climate Action Club was founded by a group of Belmont High students a few years ago with the mission of fighting climate change at all levels of government, as well as making our uh, communities more sustainable and green. Um, we have about 20 dedicated members at each meeting, and we, we meet once a week to plan different projects and to work on different action items. Great. Now, I know you have a project that you are um planning an event to raise money for, but before we get into what the event is, let's talk about the project, which is a native garden that you're planning for the new Belmont High School campus. Um, Jacob, can you tell me about this native garden project? So the native garden is going to include a lot of native plants, of course. It, the primary benefit of the native gardens is that it gives a habitat to local wildlife. So it gives a place for bees and butterflies and other insects to live. It also requires less water than um, like plants that aren't from Massachusetts and New England. So it'll be more environmentally friendly. It also will give science classes an area to do research. And like it'll simply just look good on the Belmont High campus. Where exactly on the campus will you be uh, planting this garden? So as of now, it's going to be um, kind of like to the left of the main traffic circle. So as like if you're walking into the school, it's kind of to the left side of that. So is it just one garden, one native garden? Yeah, one like I think it's like a medium sized garden. It's not massive, but it's not tiny either. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. How, how are you um, going to know like what kind of plants to put? Is, is there somebody helping? Yes, we've them? worked with, um, with like some other organizations to help find plants and find what plants will work best for the, um, the place we have. Because we don't have a lot of shades, a lot of sunlight, so not all plants will grow there. But we've had people help us out um, to find plants that will grow and hopefully will stay long into the future. And who is going to actually do the, the planting itself? So that's going to be the Climate Action Club. We're working on creating a system where members of the club can take turns like um, tending to the garden and watering it and feeding it and helping it just grow. When do you, when do you hope to actually do the planting? So our goal is to get it done sometime this spring. I'm not sure the exact date. We're still working it out. But hopefully it will be um, like, well, like we'll be making good progress by summer starts. And what's the estimated cost? Um, I think right now it is around $500, but okay, it definitely so could change depending on the plants we want. Okay, so you're having um, an event to raise money for this native garden. Evie, why don't you tell us about the event? When is it? What is it? Um, yeah, sure. So we're holding the Native Gardens concert. It is next Monday, the 28th at 7 p.m. in the Black Box Theater here at BHS. Um, just with these efforts to raise the startup um, costs for the Native Garden and then hopefully enough to sustain the cost of taking care of it um, over the coming years. Do you have a, an amount of a fundraising goal that you have? Um, a fundraising goal is probably around a thousand and we have some people who are willing to like match what we raise as well. And um, yeah, so just as much as we can. <laughs> to keep this so, it's, so it's Monday, March 28th, 7 p.m. in the Black Box Theater of the new high school. Who, who will be performing? Um, so we have four different student groups and one group um, that's a teacher's group. So we have So Blue Jazz, which is a jazz ensemble, a modern band group called Women in STEM. We have a woodwind quintet. A trombone choir, and then a folk group, Deviant Folk. Sounds like a good variety of music. About how, how long is the concert? Um, it'll be between an hour, an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me how, how much are the tickets and how do people get tickets? Um, so tickets are $5 for students and $10 for adults. 
Um, and for students at BHS, they're available during lunch mods here at the school, um, but then they're available at the door otherwise. Okay, that, that's great. Um, is there a website to learn more about your organization or, or the project? Um, we don't have a website currently for the, the project. There is a Instagram for the Climate Action Club, which has a little bit of information about us. Oh, um, what's the Insta? Um, Belmont Climate Action Club. Well, that's great. Well, I, I wish all of you luck. This is this is an exciting project. Would any would any of you like to make some closing comment for our audience that's tuning in? Sure. Thank you so much for having us today. We really appreciate it. We're really looking forward to this event and hopefully seeing a lot of people there. And we're very excited about planning these native gardens. And we really hope that a lot of people can enjoy them for many years to come. Thank you for tuning in, everyone, and good luck with your event.